Hi, this is Rena from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. I really love this bracelet. It looks super unique and I'm actually using solar bands. So these blue ones, it will change color to purple. So I'm going to take it outside to show you after I'm done making the bracelet. So let's get started on this tutorial. For this tutorial, you're going to need your pencil loom and you're going to want to line up your bands in this color order. I have white, pink, pink, blue, white, pink, pink, blue. I know this kind of looks gray, but it's blue. So just line them all up. You're just going to do white, pink, pink, blue. So you have them lined up all the way up there. And then I'm going to take my pencil loom, which is a tutorial out there on how to make. Now I'm going to take my white and then put it on my pencil loom in a crisscross figure eight like that. And then I'm going to put two pink bands. Now I'm going to pull up both of my white bands. I'm going to take my blue band and I'm going to pull up my pink band. Now I'm going to take my white band, put on my peg, and I'm going to pull up my bottom pink band. Just pull everything down a little. Now I'm going to take two pink bands again and put it on my pegs. I'm going to pull up this white band right here on both sides. This is what you should have. Now I'm going to take this pink band and move it to this peg like that. And I'm going to pull up the blue band and do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to put the pink band back and then take this pink band and then pull it onto the left side and then pull up your blue band. And then you're gonna put the pink band back. So basically what you are doing is moving these this blue band underneath between these two bands. That's why you have to pull it to one side. And now I'm gonna take my blue band, put it on my two pegs, and I'm just gonna pull up my pink band, my top pink band. Now I'm going to take my white band and with the white band, when you put a white, the white band on, you're going to pull up the pink band, but you're going to invert it. So you're going to pull down the pink band and then pull up the white band on both sides. And now you're left with a blue and a white band. You know, put two pink bands on. So every time you put a pink band on, you're gonna put two of them on. And then you're gonna pull up the white band. So now you have two pinks and a blue band. You're gonna pull up the blue band, but before you pull up the blue band, you're gonna move this one aside and you're gonna pull up the blue band on the left side. Move this back onto its peg. Go to the other side and pull up the blue band and then put the pink band back on. So that's what you should have. Now I'm gonna put my blue band on top. And once I put my blue band, I just pull up these two, the, the top pink one. Now you have a blue and a pink band. And then take my white band and when you put the white band on you want to pull the pink band inverted so i'm going to invert which means just pull the blue band down and pull the pink band up on both sides pull the blue band down and the pink band up like that and next is a pink band so when you put one pink band you put two pink bands so i'm going to put these two on and then you're just going to pull up the white and then you're gonna pull up the blue also. But with the blue, you have to 
pull your pink band onto one side, pull this blue up, put it back, and then go do the same thing on the opposite side. Like that. And you're probably looking at this. This is what you should have. And you're probably looking at it and saying, this is not the bracelet she showed in the beginning of the tutorial. What bracelet is this? So let me show you, and I'm gonna keep going, but let me just show you so that you are not concerned. This is actually the side of the bracelet and this is the front of the bracelet. So you can see that if you turn this bracelet on the side, you're making this pattern, but it just happens that you're making it on this side. So this is a cool bracelet because you can wear it like this or like that. So let's continue with the tutorial. So now I'm gonna take my blue band and put it on my peg and I'm gonna pull up just my pink, my top pink band, like that. Now I'm gonna put my white band on and when you put a white band on, you have to invert the pink and the blue. So you're gonna pull the blue down and the pink up, the blue down and the pink up. Next, I put a pink band on. So when you put one pink band on, you always put two pink bands on. I just try to do these patterns in my head so I can remember like which one I'm doing next. And then when I put the two pink bands on, I pull up my white band. And then you can also think of it as you put two pink bands on, so you're gonna pull up two different two bands. I pulled up the white band and I'm gonna pull up the blue band. But for the blue band, you always wanna pull it up on pull it over and pull it up if that makes sense you're just when you pull this over you're not really doing anything except for the fact that you just want to pull this so that it hooks onto the bottom one and not the top one like that next is my blue band so it's just simple when you put the blue band on you just pull up the pink band and then when you put the white band on, you invert. So the white band means you invert the bottom two. So the blue and the pink get inverted and the pink gets pulled up. And then I'm gonna put pink bands on. And when you put two pink bands on, you pull up the white band and you're gonna pull up the blue bands, but the blue bands go in between. So which means you have to pull this to the right side Pull it up, put it back, put it up on the other side and pull it back. Next, put my blue band on. Blue band means you just pull up the, this middle pink band or the top pink band. And then I'm gonna put a white band on. When you put a white band on, you invert. So I'm gonna invert these two. The blue and the pink get inverted and the pink one gets pulled up. So you're gonna put two pink bands on. When you put two pink bands on, you're gonna pull up two bands. So you're gonna pull up the white band first and then the blue band gets pulled up, but only on the bottom band. It hooks only onto the bottom band. Now you have two pink bands like this, and you're gonna put a blue band on. The blue band gets pulled, the pink band gets pulled onto the blue band like that. I'm gonna put my white band on, and when you put a white band on, you invert the two, so the blue and the pink get inverted. And then I'm gonna put two pink bands on. I'm gonna show you how to end the bracelet. So I put two pink bands on, and I usually end with two pink bands. So this is the, la the last two bands I put on. So to end it, I put my white bands up, and I do the same thing. So you put your pink to one side, and you pull up the blue. You put the pink to the other side, and you pull up the blue. But this time, I will also pull up my pink on each side, so that I have one band like that, and then I pull this over. Take my little C clip. 
and there you have your bracelet. So from the side, it looks like this. And that's what you've been staring at when you make it. But this is actually, oops, it's upside down. This is actually how it looks. So I'm gonna take this outside into the sun so you can see how it changes color because these are the solar, the solar um, bands. Actually, I just have a sunny window that I'm gonna put this on. I don't know if you can see it changing colors. You guys see that it's like turned purple instead of blue there? And you see, if I flip it over, you're gonna see that this side is like a little blue and then that one's purple. And then let me move it into the shade. So over here, so that the lighting's a little better. See, it's like purple. And then it changes back when it's not in the sun. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to change back or you can see it. I also want to show you, oops, it's like so, so zoomed, sorry, <laughs> my other bracelet. This is my Mario's Vine bracelet. So I don't know, do you guys wear your rainbow looms or do you just make them? I do wear them sometimes. I decided to put this one on today. It's super old. It's about to break, I think. And I wear it like this where I don't make the bracelet. If you notice, I don't make my bracelets full length because I always wear it like this where I put it onto just like a metal bracelet. I'm going to show you how to do that in another video. And I make them into the keychains. Do you see how old this bracelet is? The, the rubber band is, is disintegrating over there. But anyhow, I think this changed back to purple. It's like a little purple still. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And let me know if you wear your bracelets. I love to see pictures. Um, if you have Instagram, be sure to tag me. My handle is the cheese thief. Thanks for watching and bye now.